Curious to know how the three shells worked in the 1993 film Demolition Man? Well, we're gonna take a look at it right now. He doesn't know how to use the three seashells. Hello all, Wild coming at you from my Curious to Know playlist. And if this is your first time here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell because we're looking at all the fun things that I'm curious to know and you might be too. Today we're looking at the 1993 film Demolition Man that features Sylvester Stallone and Wesley Snipes battling it out in a futuristic utopian Los Angeles city. But there's one particular thing that always strikes me as quite weird in this film. If you're not familiar with the story, Sylvester Stallone's character and Wesley Snipes' character both get cryo-frozen and thawed out 36 years into the future. But there's one curious part I've always wondered about the film. When Sylvester Stallone's character finally gets thawed out and he's becoming acclimated to his surroundings, he goes up and he talks to Sandra Bullock's character and says one unique thing that happens in the film. You're out of toilet paper. Hey, did, did you say toilet paper? Oh, they used handfuls of wadded paper back in the 20s. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy that you're happy, but the place where you're supposed to have the toilet paper, you got this little shelf with three seashells on it. <laughs> He doesn't know how to use the three seashells. <laughs> I can see how that could be confusing. I don't believe it. What are the three shells? I have to know. Did the writers actually just pick this word at random and they thought seashells would be something that would be more or less of a joke that wasn't going to go into the final cut? Or does it actually mean something more? One of the leading theories that I could find is the toilet in the future is actually an incorporated bidet. And the three shells represent angle of the water, of it being wider or focused, and also the temperature and the pressure. There's even a report that I could find of Sandra Bullock confirming this. That is what the intended use for the three shells were. Surprisingly, this answer is actually false as the actual writers have come forward on a few forms to give their actual answer for what the three shells actually mean. Just to let you know, the next section that's coming up does have a spoiler section and it is adult content. So I'm letting you know right now, if you don't wanna see it, please skip to the time code that I'm gonna put right up here for you. Okay, hold on to your butts, here we go. When you're talking about the three shells, there's actually a surprising helpful guideline that somebody printed online. I'll put a link in the description below, but I'll show you some of the pictures here. But basically, you take two of the shells and you use them like chopsticks and they're meant to grab the waste that is coming out of your body and you put that into the toilet. With the remaining shell, you use that to kind of make yourself clean by skimming away the rest of the waste that might be there. Now, I couldn't find an answer with what you do with the shells, whether they go into the toilet or if they're rinsed and reused. One would think somehow in the future there would be a really efficient recycling program if you flush them down the toilet or maybe they get sanitized and they get used again. Unfortunately, I couldn't find an answer just for that. But her question of why we're curious to know still is not answered. Why seashells? Lucky for us, in a December 2014 interview with one of the writers, Daniel Waters, actually shedded some light on this answer. There's a scene where Stallone has to use the restroom. I'm trying to come up with futuristic things you'd find in there. I was having trouble, so I called my buddy, another screenwriter across town, asked him if he had any ideas. Ironically enough, that guy was taking a dump when he answered the phone, looked around his bathroom and said, I have a bag of seashells on my toilet as decoration. I said, okay, I'll make something out of that. And there you go, there is our answer. You know, it's nothing really fancy, unfortunately, but it is actually kind of unique how the writer actually came up with it and his friend as well. This one was a fun little tidbit because, you know, it made the brain think in different ways of how the future could actually be with waste. Most things we probably would just safely assume is like the first answer and how it would have been some type of futuristic bidet. I am glad to have finally found an answer to this because I have seen Demolition Man a bunch of times and I have always wanted to know. 
So I'm glad that I was able to figure it out and to share it with you guys because I was curious to know. If you guys like this video and you're interested to see more, make sure you leave a comment below and let me know something that you're curious about and I will see what I can do to make a video about it. Hey, thanks for checking out this playlist here. I do truly appreciate making these because they're actually really fun to find out. If you want to show your appreciation, make sure to leave a comment below and give it a nice thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to go above and beyond, you can follow me on my Patreon. All of the funds go back into the channel here to help bring you more videos. I love doing this. I will see you guys next time in the next Curious to Know video. Have a good one. Peace.